Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to add the search functionality so that when you search right here, hit enter, it actually shows you some cool results. So let's get started. We are going to go to our welcome.blade.php and in the sidebar, that's where our search should be. So I'm just going to search for search because the easiest way to find stuff in a big template is simply search for it, right? So you can see we search for search and right here, you can see we have this little form right here. So you can see the form is of type get and that's exactly what we need and then the name is edge so i'm just the name of the input is s so i'm just going to change this to query okay and then the method is going to be get i'm going to pull out this target and add action so the action is going to be route called welcome because remember the home page route right here is the welcome route okay so what we want is when the user types and hits enter it's submitted to the same page like right now if i type this you can see it's submitted to the same page and there's a query right here so what we want to do when we are arranging the welcome page is to get this query and query the database okay so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go to our welcome controller and right here we are saying post paginate 3. what we're going to do here is we're going to check if request because remember we have the request method and we're going to say if request query query right here and i'm just going to die dump request query and query okay so if i refresh there's no query but if i type in a query hit enter great you can see that we get the query right there okay so Maybe we want to change this name to something like search so that it's easier for us to, you know, use. So the name here is going to be search. Okay. So that it puts search in the bar right there. Okay. So let me delete this. Refresh the page. Type in name. You can see search equals name. Awesome. So what we want to do here is if there is a search, post is going to be equal to post. And we are going to use a where clause to search and we're going to say where the title is like the search query because we're searching right and what we want to do is put this percentage signs for my skill and then we're going to put in the query so let's go ahead and create a variable for the query so i'm just going to say search is going to be equal to request query search like that and then we're going to say if search, then I'm going to pass in search. So post equals post where title is like search. Then else, then else, what we're going to do is post equals exactly what we have here. Simple paginate. Post. Like that. Okay. So here, if there is a query, do this. Then we're going to call simple paginate and then pass in three so we search the results and then we paginate them by three but if there is no post query or if there's no query or search to search for post then simply do this okay so now if we refresh great you can see we have no post because of the query and then i'm just gonna type something like new great you can see we have one result because this one has a new word inside so let's try something like one letter you can see we have two results so let's say we want to paginate by one result right here just so that we can see the pagination okay so you can see we have one result and on the next page we have the second result so if i click on this notice that it gives me page two but the query is gone so the search query is actually gone notice that and this is not good because if i refresh right now it's giving me page two of a different set of results, right? If I go back to page one, you can see it's a different set of results. And that's the use of append because normally the paginator is going to have only page here, but you want to tell the paginator to also append the search. So where we have a paginator rendered, I'm just going to search for it right here. We're going to call an appends method before we call the links method. And here, what we want to do is append search which is the name of our search term and it should always be request query search like that 
okay so if i refresh great it looks like nothing happened but let's search for w again you can see the search is right here if i go to the next page you can see that the search is maintained right there search equals w and page equals two and that's awesome you can see it works perfectly now okay so append you can append whatever query parameter you want right here but now since we are searching we want the value here to always be the search term so i'm just going to go back to my form where we have our search can seem to find it okay there we go and the value of this is going to always be request query and we'll get search okay so that in case we are searching if i search for p you can see the p is right there so that we always know we are searching okay then we can view a post come back search is working perfectly but if we don't see any results then we need to actually display a message so this is what we're gonna do we are going to come right here in the for each and i'm gonna show you a really cool directory directive in Laravel. so we can do for else and then we can do empty and then we can do and for else and in this empty we can place in the message to display if this count is zero so here i'm just gonna say a p dot text center and i'll say no results found for query and i'm just gonna use some strong tags right here to emphasize and this is gonna say request I'll call the request method to get the current request instance then i'll get query and then i'll get search like that okay so if i refresh this page right now everything looks normal but by the time i search for something that doesn't exist you can see no results found for query this awesome so that looks like it works so just like that we have a search functionality good to go in our application great thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on in the very next lesson